What's up, everybody? Welcome to another reading with the Crown Priestess. This is going to be a collective love story, okay? This is your love reading. Um, I pray that this video finds who it needs to find. If it has found you, I'm sure there is something here for you. Please only take what resonates and let the rest go for the other people watching. Okay. This is going to be a collective love story. I'm going to surround this reading around love. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I see that. The nines are very powerful already. Nine, nine, master number 99. And transformation. That makes all the sense. A lot of you are moving forward, okay? You could be receiving communication from somebody that you're moving forward from. I feel like for a lot of you, you're either not in contact with this person at the moment, you're not talking to them at the moment, or this is just spirit indicating that you're not saying what you really want to say to this person okay so if you are in communication with this person um because some of you have to be some of you can maybe share children um maybe you work together maybe something of that nature um where you have to kind of interact with this person even on a surface level is sort of the mundane um but you're not talking about the real things that you want to talk about and i say that to say right in the middle of this spread is suffering in silence, okay? But you do have the fulfillment of wishes that came out first. Transformation was the last card just to show y'all that. Let's get it moving. I know y'all like to see the cards, whatever, some of you. Um, okay. <laughs> but um, basically there is a, this is a time of uh, self-indulgence for sure, okay? Um, I definitely see that somebody here is very self-focused, at least trying to be, trying to keep themselves busy. Some of you can be dating, seeing other people, or at least going out, having fun, grabbing a drink with friends, etc. But deep down, there is suffering here. Deep down, there is, um, you know, when you're, when the music cuts off and you're looking for your slacks, right? I always say that. <laughs> that's from, um, that's from a, go a, a ghost of girlfriends past. Um, that was a really cute rom-com with Matthew McConaughey and which brother is that? Michael Douglas, I believe. Um, Jennifer Garner. There's a couple people in there, but Michael Douglas, I think, is who played his uncle and he was one of the ghosts. And he says that phrase like, he's like, listen, kid, when the music cuts off and you're looking for your slacks, None of that matters. And it's the truth. And, and basically, it's like somebody definitely is like getting their party on, going out, dating, doing whatever, just having fun, getting drunk. But when you go home at night and you're alone and it's just you and your fucking cat, you feel it. You feel the absence of this person or you feel the absence of just having that companionship, you know. So, okay. Let's cl start clarifying these boys, these bad boys. <laughs> Let's find out why is the Nine of Cups here. Exactly. Yo, exactly what I say. I'm, I'm not, yo, y'all, get the fuck out of here. The Sun, the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. It's a front. Somebody looks happy, is doing it, and you maybe you maybe are very like successful outside, happy, etc. But when it comes to love, baby, when what you feel in here is lonely, it's hurt, it's disappointed, it's broken, it's yearning. There's a lot of yearning here, you know. And I feel like it looks all good. You you know you look like you got it together. Your money is right, and you outside. You probably look good as fuck. You laughing. You feel good, but. Some of you are really, really lonely on the inside. And it's like, you're definitely missing on somebody. And man, take the energy how it resonates. This can be how your person is feeling about you. You know how to flip it. All right. But I definitely see here that there is a lot of disappointment in terms of your love. So the person who's suffering in silence, you'll know who it is, right? You know which way, you, which side of the block you're on. 
Whoever is suffering in silence is watching you. <laughs> it's keeping tabs on you. They may not be saying very much. Like I said, for a lot of you, I don't even feel like you're talking with this person right now. You know, and if you are talking, it is very, very mundane. It is super, like surface level conversation um it's on a need to need to know basis again because some of you do have children here these are all young energies on this the knight of pentacles the page of swords the page of cups these are all like young they could be children for some of you but um i see evidently that there's just not a lot of communication between you and this person at this time but boy is y'all in each other's business you know what i mean like somebody's in the business like bad um and i do feel that somebody wants to come forward and maybe apologize and make things right now i'm saying all this while the king of cups is sitting pretty under the deck um so for sure i think one of the biggest problems that is faced well that was ch the biggest challenge one of the biggest challenges that you had in this connection was that this person was not expressive at all someone was not expressive at all about their true feelings and i, I said that in the beginning it's like whatever y'all talking about you're not saying with the real shit like what the fuck what's wrong you know what i mean like the king of cups i know people like to see this man but i'm gonna be honest he's my least favorite king yes he loves deeply but you hardly ever know it you really hardly ever know it because what the King of Cups has done is learned how to, he's mastered his emotions, mastered them. So believe it or not, he can come off just as stoic and asshole as a fucking King of Swords. You know what I mean? Because he ain't trying to tell you how he feels about you. You know, you'll know it through other things, subtle things, but he's not going to really sit there and chat about how he feels about you, you know, nine times out of 10. So I see very clear that this person is, they're trying to figure out a way to approach you subtly in a small gesture, right? Not, not, not the big one. Just like this person is trying to get into your good graces. They don't know how to do this because of the lack of communication, because the separation could have ended poorly you know with that i'm not going to ignore that the five of pentacles and the three of swords came out here this could have ended really bad you know this could have like been a really blow up situation somebody could have got thrown out the house kicked out the house asked to leave asked to get the fuck out of my life i don't want to see you ever again shit like that like i think hurtful things um were definitely incorporated into the separation process between you and this person um and probably they had a lot of i feel like whoever is suffering now probably said the worst shit you know and i'm not gonna put pin it on one person because breakups are often you know often not always because sometimes you just get your heart broke but a lot of times when people are finally done, finally separating from a situation, it, it's kind of coming from a mutual place. Because now, at this point, no matter who was wrong, we both at our wits end about this shit. You know what I mean? So, but I want to say that whoever this is that is suffering and trying to figure out how they can apologize or what they can do to try and smooth things over is probably the person who took it to hell. You know, they probably really went overboard there's this there's this there's this, this um this act of this feeling i could feel it like overkill it's like overkill it's like when you hit somebody <laughs> damn not like that but you know what it was i was watching falling from grace the other day um that tyler perry movie and she was fucking this nigga up with this bat it make no sense that he lived it was god's plan that he lived because that woman wasn't supposed to spend her life in jail but the way she kept whacking this nigga with this bat, you know, it was like, bitch, he was dead on the first, you know what I'm trying to say? So somebody over, over did it. That's the energy that I'm getting with this. Somebody really took it entirely too far and they know they took it too far. Like they know it. And so now they like, you know, it's one of those things where 
how do I come back from this? You know, there's really no coming back from this. And I think that they know it. And that's why they are taking this sweet time about this process. You know, is the intent there? Sure. But how the fuck am I supposed to say this? And normally the biggest problem with that is that people do, they don't want to take accountability in the way that they should, right? They don't want their apologize. They, 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 they're scared to apologize as loudly as they disrespected you. You know what I mean? Cause my, that's my tea. I'm big on that. Like if you're going to disrespect me in public, you don't get to apologize to me in private. And that's period. Oh, no, no, no. Don't tell me and me only that you're sorry. Because you told everybody that I could go to hell. So tell everybody that you're sorry. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's something like that that this person knows that there's really is not. For some of you, there's just no coming back from whatever the fuck this person did or said or however it went. And so they just like watching, waiting, praying, shit like that. But you do have the transformation card here. In the outcome, okay, this is the outcome card. Transformation, big scorpion energy, okay. Work, work, okay, and there it is. Ace of Wands on the bottom. This person is definitely yearning for a new beginning for you. With, with you, you could be saying, "Hell no, we won't go," and that would be totally fine. But I do feel like a lot of you are really just working on yourself, working on your healing process. I think that as you are able to see yourself healing and feel like you're in a more I want to say I wanted to say safe space For some of you that's what it is you just don't even feel safe around this person I hope not physically I'm not getting it that way but it could be for some of you um but I feel like you just emotionally this person just does not secure it, yo like they just don't and so you know that you have you just got to fall back and take a break. And that's part of that transformation for you. Because I think for a lot of you, it took you a long time to realize that you had to fall back from this person. And that's why there's no communication for real for most of y'all right now. Because I need to get myself together. Like some of you need sleep, okay? You lost a lot of sleep over this person and it just fucked up a lot. Some of you missed out work or you've been fucking up at work. Because that be for real. And that's real life. Like, when you're going through heartache, especially when you were in like a long-term committed thing and that suddenly comes crashing and you still got to get up in the morning and be a mom, go to work, you know, live life. It's tough, you know, and it's like by the time you do all of that shit and now you're trying to party, right? Because I said that too. Somebody's trying to like go out, keep their mind off things. Let me go out, drink, have a good time. Fuck out of here. I'm a bad bitch. I know what the fuck is going on. But at the end of the day, when you go home, baby... Now is the time that you're processing this pain that you're actually in and you just, it's all you can think about. Now you're crying, now you're sad, now you're like, what the fuck, you're going over things in your head, etc. Um, you know, and it could take a lot out of you. It can be very emotionally draining. So I think that a lot of you, through this transformation, through this ending, you are working very hard on your healing. You are working consistently on your healing and it's going to allow you to come into a place where you can maybe be ready to talk to this person. Now, I'll be honest, baby steps, because the conversation might start off that we trying to come to a mutual thing and then still get snappy right away because I said I'm healing, not I'm healed. You understand? Get it right. But okay, let's see what some of the oracles got to say for y'all. I do feel like there's a conversation happening with you and this person, okay? Um, it's coming up. Can be four days, four weeks for some of you. Depends on how much time is here, but I'm seeing the number, the fours, okay? Nines and fours are very important. Um, four is a good number to have. It talks about stability. It also has um, protection attached to it, the four fours, okay? Yeah, look at this. She's a runner. She's a track star. Some of you are like, and it's so funny because th th these cards look the same. Bolton. All right, but I'm doing getting, I'm getting for sure somebody with that fear of intimacy and listening to ego. It says that on the card. That's this person. Like I said, they're watching you, but they don't know how to approach. They're scared. They are afraid. And I think, yes, while this person obviously had fear of intimacy, which is why they probably fucked up this whole bag in the process. The ego thing is the biggest thing that's standing out to me. Like I said, 
this person knows that to come back into your good graces, their apology has to be as loud or 10 times louder than the disrespect was. And the disrespect was so diabolical. They took it so far deep into hell. What kind of heaven are they prepared to really bring you? You know what I mean? Like it's, it's going to be a lot of work. And unfortunately, some people, especially masculine energies, no shade, they rather, they rather say, fuck it, you know, because they, they just rather, you know what I mean? And it's not your fault. It's just, it's not your fault. There's nothing you can do about that. Let's see what else they got. <laughs> there goes the conversation. I told y'all it's coming in four days, four weeks. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So I do see that there's communication between this person, but here's how you still feel. Stabbed in the back. You. That's why I said, even though y'all might, Again, you're actively... So I'll say this. I'm going to give this advice before I even pull out any cards about it. If if you know that you're working on your healing actively and you have noticed yourself feeling better without this energy, continue to stay without this energy, my good sis, my good brother. Please, just fuck it. Because sometimes, I've said this before, healing healing comes in layers. And while we are actively doing the healing work, we can feel that we are ready to face these people, talk about what happened, bring up this shit, and have conversations like adults on a calm and cool and collective and safe frequency. But that shit will snap and get crazy real fast. And you will realize, oh, damn. I guess I wasn't all that healed off that shit. I guess I was still a little angry. And that's okay. But just know yourself, you know, and know when it's time to... Like, it's all right even if you talk to this person and it goes south. Yeah, okay. What I'm saying is, after it goes south and you dip, is it going to break you more? Like, is it going to put you back to square one? Or are you going to feel confident that you said what you said and keep working on you? You know what I mean? Assess that so assess that for yourself before you dive in, all right? Yeah, it's a risk. <laughs> I shuffled and it's a hand of cards at the bottom, but I want to get to the new... I want to get to some other oracles. I want to get some more messages. What would this person... I don't. Even, I almost don't even want to let this nigga talk. But what would this person say? Or what is? What are their feelings right now? Okay. Let's see that. Look at that. You deserve better. Glad they know it. Glad they know it. Probably why they scared to come. For some of you, this is a divine connection. Absolutely. How about this one? Woo, my favorite. I never felt this way about anyone. And it scares me. That's that ego. That's that fear of intimacy. That ego. What else? What else would this person say? <laughs> Look at this shit. Taunted. I hate not hearing from you. Every dream and nightmare is about you. This person is taunted boots. And on the bottom, I was being selfish. I want you all to myself, I swear. That's what I just heard. All right. What else? Look, what, what advice do the romance angels have for you? Can't make this shit up. What advice do these romance angels have for you? It's the fact that this person even knows you deserve better than whatever the fuck they did or whatever they gave you. It's crazy. Childish. Okay. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. I think this is for that person who's trying to come near you. They probably don't have no fucking clue how they're going to do this. It's a, and I'm saying this because I'm being drawn to this picture, right? These are children in this picture young love right innocent love that's the divine connection as well from some of you you guys have been with this person in lifetimes before or this is a faded connection whether it was karmic twin whoever it doesn't matter it was it was meant to happen in your life but i'm focusing on these children because this boy look how he hugging on kissing on this girl face and i feel like that's how this person is they don't know how else to really apologize to you 
they just this is what they want to do they just want to come in and like hug you or hug and kiss you like i'm sorry and just kiss your face like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but it's like we're not five you know i feel like they are gonna make this effort they are gonna try to come toward you with something but i don't i don't know that it's going to be that grown mature something that you're looking for you know what else do the romance angels have to say playfulness yeah you see look at this with the children there make up the effort and playfulness this person they don't know how to especially if this is a masculine energy again no shade we all have it to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine i feel like this person that's how they do stuff like they try to just smooth shit over by being funny being charming being cute being sexy this person's love language could be physical touch you know what the thing is about the love languages too and a lot of people don't talk about this but i don't know if you guys have read the book or not um and when you go deep and down into like the spiritual meaning of all this shit for real because i have meditated over this book because i desire that kind of understanding for this but um you know, there's there's a distorted version of all those languages. And so physical touch is like, yes, it's a love language. Some people need to feel the affection. They want to hug. They want to hold hands. They want to kiss. They want to fuck. They want to, you know, it's all things touch. It's not just sex. But what happens is if the frequency of the person who requires this or is giving this love language, practicing this love language, if their frequency is low, what does physical touch look like? It can look like abuse, physical abuse, God forbid, rape. It can look like a person who has absolutely no boundaries. It can look like, you know what I'm trying to say? A person who abuses their sacral chakra and is just fucking Tom, Dick, and Harry. This is what I'm saying. And that energy did come up in the beginning that somebody's out trying to pay it, you know, trying to, oh, I'm out here, I'm partying, I'm dating, I'm fucking whoever I want to fuck. And it's like, it's not really going well for you, but... This person is, I feel like when they come around, this is what they're trying to do. This is how they're trying to smooth it over. And I'm going to be honest, some of y'all are just like, ew, fuck out of here. And this was, it might trigger you. You know what I mean? So some of y'all might like it. Some of y'all might like it. But let go of control issues are sitting at the bottom, okay? Allow this situation to unfold naturally. That is the people who just never want to do sh shit naturally. <laughs> what else should you know about this? What else should you know about this love situation? I'm going to close it out with a nice love oracle too. But let's see what else spirit has right now. The masculine. Uh, okay, third eye. So seeing the truth, something clear, clear communication. Transformation has come out twice. Y'all are done. Some of y'all, if this is somebody that you was always in and out with, in and out with, in and out with, that shit is clipped. Never again is what that's given. Because you see how, you see clear as day how toxic this was and you just refuse to be bound to this person anymore that's right <laughs> thought i was gonna sit around and wait for your ass <laughs> and now you're sad you know how it goes all right y'all yep all right so i'm gonna pull from my little love oracle deck for your final message from spirit if this resonated please give a like share subscribe you can donate. You can book a person to read it with me. I love all of that stuff. I love it down. This is what I do. Let's see what you have. I love Oracle for these people. Which heart will drop? Oh, almost. There was almost. Nope. Are y'all going to choose it? Or do I? Nope. They're going to choose it. That's what they said. Just keep going. Almost. These are a little harder to shuffle, but they know when they feel like taking something out. I don't know why they, they're killing me with this right now. Because these are hard as hell to shuffle, y'all know that. Okay, they, they, they're going to give it to me now. I can feel it. Yeah, there it goes. I know it. Okay. Woo! Okay. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Love down. Okay. Love, light, and abundance. <laughs>